Lumberton is our town. All right, we are the best thing on somebody's worst day for the next 72 hours. So this is the river. All right, when this floods from exit 17 here, this section can quite possibly be submerged. Heavenly Father, please watch over these men and women today. In a time of need, in a time of crisis, we're united as one, right? So that's what the Cajun Navy is all about. I know what it's like. My mom lost her house in Katrina. My grandmother lost her house in Katrina. We're just getting reports now that there's a senior home center over off Galveston. We're working to link up with the fire chief, send a recon team over there, see what's actively happening with the water. Oh yeah, it's flooding pretty good. I've never seen roads like this. And this is way beyond what I expected. A dozen Cajun Navy volunteers are on their way to the Highland Acres nursing home, which was cut off by floodwaters. Problem is, this water's kicking up. It's kicking up too quick. 40 patients were trapped. How many can you put on that truck? Six. Most of them bedridden. Get out of the way, get out of the way. Don't be afraid. You're not going to drop you, OK? All right. Just be prepared to get a little wet, all right? OK. All right. They said nursing home people need to transfer it out. I said, okay, let's get them out and get them out. Yeah, we're risking our lives, but this is worth it. This community, this town, this city, these people. Just because they're bedridden, they're not able to walk on their own, it doesn't mean they're not human beings. They need compassion, they need care, they need everything that we were there for. In the middle of the chaos, lasting bonds were formed. She told me thank you so many times. That made, that made the whole trip worth it right there. Last one, guys. It took five hours to rescue them and deliver them to area hospitals. What I think we were able to accomplish tonight was to give these people some dignity. You know, holding their hand, asking them if they'd like somebody to pray with them. As much as I believe we were a blessing to those people, I know as a matter of fact, that, uh, that they were a blessing to me tonight.